Hi everybody. Um, I still have stitches on my fingers, so I won't be able to play guitar. So um, this video, I'm going to discuss uh, a very important subject. Someone um, sent me an email, had a question about stage fright. Now stage fright is something that we all suffer from. Every artist suffers from stage fright now and then, but it can be a problem. Um, if you become your fear, then you practice all over again. Uh, you make mistakes because of the stage fright and you practice over and over again, getting really frustrated um, to play the perfect performance. So what can you do about it? There are different techniques to uh, get stage fright under control. Some of the techniques are uh, on a deeper level and have to do all about your personality while others are just in a practical sense uh, you can you can use them there are some techniques will which will take years and other ones uh, are just a, a shift in perception okay let's start with the first one number one know what you're aiming at it's uh, it's okay to to have a really high objective but you have to get real really start making an inventory of things you can play at this very moment so be realistic in those things um that's that's your safety zone and uh, you know john lennon once said life starts at the end of your comfort zone so it's okay to push uh to push the limits to 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 take things a step higher but not for the most part of the show because you're you get stressed out for that so you know give yourself a break um, and, and know what you're aiming at and try to get comfortable with being uncomfortable once in a while I remember Jeff uh, Jeff Ocaro, uh when he had a studio session and uh, he wasn't comfortable with with the drum parts they asked him to play because he knew it was very very difficult for him to play he just said, uh, call Vinny, Vinny Caliuda. So um, that was number one. Number two, own the parts you have to play. Um, when you practice, make a schedule with a timetable. Start with the most difficult songs. First, start with the difficult songs because you're going to need more time to uh, rehearse these songs. And uh, if you don't do that, then and you'll have to do that on a, do that on a, a short notice, then you're going to be in trouble. Um, so take a good look at the set list and make a ranking how much time you need for these songs to study. And uh, then your result must be to play these songs flawless. So take a good look at the set list. Um, and how to practice uh, is explained in the video number four. Number three, B equipped make sure uh, if you have to program sounds uh, to program them at home same goes when you're playing keyboards um, because if you have to program your sounds during the rehearsal your band buddy is going to be really pissed at you because um, they have to wait until you're ready um, finishing your sounds you have to do that at home so pre prepare those sounds at home you don't need to do that on rehearsals uh, rehearsal is rehearsal time you need time to rehearse the songs um what's also when it's necessary uh, if you need more than one guitar uh take them with you also to the rehearsal if for instance you need an acoustic guitar or a guitar with a different tuning uh, take that with you to a rehearsal don't don't uh, uh start tuning your guitar in a different tuning as rehearsal that's ridiculous so uh, maybe you need more than one thing. Maybe you need uh, different picks to play. Maybe you need a slide. Maybe you need an ebo or whatever. Take all these things to the rehearsal. Make sure you can um, that that they're light down somewhere that you can take them fast, so uh, you don't have to search for them. Just be prepared in in that case too. Um, try to develop a system um, where you know it will work. Life, uh, for instance. If I'm playing live, uh, I have one unit where I programmed uh, my acoustic guitar, uh, acoustic guitars I have nylon and steel string, 
and uh, also my electric guitars and I only have one wireless system I only have one belt pack uh, and it's where it's supposed to be <laughs> on my belt so um, I don't have a lot of different wireless systems I only have one wireless system and a program to sounds on the same unit so uh, if I'm switching guitars um, don't forget um, to uh, to push the mute button you know if you don't push that what's what's happening right um, maybe you can use an AB box for switching guitars you know uh, make it comfortable for yourself have a system which is ready and which is practical um, so we have an overview and control of all your guitars and all your sounds um, during the set number three number four practice the songs in the same order as the set list repeat 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 practice um, switching on your guitar between pickups uh, practice switching the sounds um, maybe in a live situation uh, a problem occurs where you have to change guitars but you can't because you have to play all the time maybe you keep that guitar uh, and in the next song there will be a, a keyboard intro or maybe an intermezzo and then you can change your guitar um, and if you don't know ask your band buddies because um, they probably know a solution to the problem um, but that many times I had to switch from one guitar to another guitar and you know the band played on and it just did a, a sort of a, a piece within two songs and then I switched and looked at the drummer and he counted in and you know, we're, we're, we're off so um, practice uh, the songs in the same order as the set list number four number five um, don't forget your spare parts um, take a spare guitar with you in case you break strings take extra strings cables uh you know picks uh you name it and maybe very very important uh, maybe you should consider um buying one of these small multi fx uh, sorry multi fx units where um you know when your expensive gear suddenly breaks down but you don't think it will break down because it's so expensive so it will work so when you take uh the expensive gear on the road you know what's gonna work so if you have to choose by doing that take the your whole rig your whole expensive rig uh, on the road and um well you have confidence that it won't break and um that's 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 one choice or maybe consider buying one of these small tiny uh, multi fx units which can fit in your back pocket in case uh it w it breaks down because it will break down i hope not but uh, you know sort of things which are which can break of course uh so your expensive rig nobody can fix it and uh well the other choice is you take this tiny little motherfucker out of your back pocket and you know start rocking the place with it um it saved me it saved me uh, a few times um because that's alternative is way better than canceling the show or or stopping the show that's that's terrible you don't want to be responsible for that so you don't have to buy the same gear you have just make sure you have a you know small uh, unit and program the basic sound so if something if something breaks down you can end the show you know you can play the whole show and don't care because the front of a house will will make the sound work um, so that's very important make sure you have all the spare parts that was number five so in summary if you um, are prepared then you know all your parts your guitar parts keyboard parts whatever instrument you play you have rehearsed that you have rehearsed the set list um, you have covered the switching situations or changing your guitars uh, you have all the spare parts um, and because of that it will take away uh, some of the stress uh, you could you could experience uh, before a show because you know that that part at least that part is covered 
so you're confident about it and i think that will take away um some of the stage fright you could experience normally